Hi, I'm Kaylee Olson, Administrative Specialist for the Benton County Health Department and member of the Joint Information Center. As of today, March 26th, Benton County is currently in the high risk level until April 9th. We will find out our next risk level on April 6th and we'll share that information on our COVID-19 website and through Benton County social media channels. Benton County has remained in the high risk category for two consecutive periods, a positive change after remaining in the extreme risk category for over 10 weeks. Benton County and OSU recognize that there is a likelihood of loosened COVID-19 prevention protocols during traditional college spring activities. To help maintain Benton County's progress in reducing COVID-19 risk levels, OSU is implementing several post-spring break protocols. Students who are not fully vaccinated and have traveled during spring break are asked to quarantine for 10 days regardless of their test results. All on-campus residents are required to be tested for COVID-19 within the first three days of spring term. All students, regardless of living arrangements, are encouraged to complete COVID-19 testing within the first three days of spring term. We are pleased to announce that Benton County, in collaboration with Oregon State University and Samaritan Health Services, hosted two more vaccination clinics yesterday and today, administering over 4,000 doses to our community. Phase 1B, Group 6, is currently eligible for vaccination. This group includes high-risk adults aged 45 to 64, migrant and seasonal workers, individuals experiencing homelessness, wildland firefighters, and more. If you believe you are eligible, please complete the survey on our COVID-19 website or call for assistance over the phone at 541-766-6120. As pregnant people 16 and over become eligible for the vaccine in Benton County, we want to help answer some questions you may have about pregnancy and the vaccine. We don't yet have much data about the safety of the three authorized vaccines for people who are pregnant. But based on how the vaccines work, experts believe they are unlikely to pose a specific risk to people who are pregnant. If you get a fever after vaccination, you can take acetaminophen because fever during pregnancy has been linked to negative outcomes. Vaccines have not been studied in people who are breastfeeding. However, experts think that the COVID-19 vaccines are not a risk for them or for their babies. There is no evidence that any vaccines, including COVID-19 vaccines, cause fertility problems. You can get a COVID-19 vaccine if you are trying to get pregnant now or want to get pregnant in the future. And of course, if you have any questions, it can help to talk through your decision with your doctor. Finally, we want to make you aware that Benton County has received reports of a vaccine scam alert. Some individuals who are vaccinated at Research Stadium have received emails asking them to complete a feedback survey. This email states that those who complete the survey will be eligible to receive a $90 gift card for their participation. Benton County is not sending an event satisfaction survey and will never ask for your bank or credit card information to send you money. If you receive an email like this, please do not click any links in the email. Delete the email and report the scam to the Sheriff's Office at 541 766-6858. Thank you.